welcome to my channel. I've done a tutorial on this Kylie lip kit, which is, oh, this lid doesn't, ah. So I've done a tutorial on this Wicked lip kit, Wicked lip kit, which I'm loving, which is pretty wicked. So you get this lip pencil and liquid lipstick in the kit. I love the colour, I think it's so fun. So I think this was her autumn release. But I personally think this is a great summertime look because it's so much of a pop of colour and so much fun. Um, the rest of the look I've kept it super natural. I've not done any fake lashes or anything because I just think I want all the attention on the lips. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know if you like the lip kit or if there's another one you prefer in the comment section below. I hope you like the look and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. And if you want to know how to create the lip kit, the look. Look, keep watching, and for now, that's all, folks. I'll see you in my next video. Starting with my favourite NARS foundation in the shade Mont Blanc, I'm going to put a few pumps on the back of my hand and then use my Sigma F80, which is a flat kabuki, to blend it out. So I'm first of all just applying an even coverage of the foundation all over my face so that I don't just put it in one spot and go from there and then I'm going to blend it out. Next going in with my NARS concealer in the shade light too. So I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes mainly for extra coverage and to brighten them up a bit and then around my nose, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead and on my chin. Just before I go and blend that in with my beauty sponge I'm going to get my loose setting translucent powder ready and this is one by Laura Mercier which I'm loving at the moment. So I'm just going to shake some into the lid so that as soon as I have blended out my concealer I can go in and set it straight away. So this is just a pressing motion. You definitely don't want to be like dragging the sponge at all because then you'll get concealer like drag across your face, <laughs> which isn't the best look. So just going over areas of the face, first of all that doesn't typically crease or fold and then leaving the under eye for last so that I can set it straight away because otherwise the um, concealer will settle in the creases under my eyes within a matter of seconds and it's impossible to come back from it. So you want to squeeze your sponge quite, so it's quite small so you can really get into that in a bit just in there and just lightly dabbing it so you're just pressing the concealer and making it sure it's all blended in. And then just applying the loose setting powder straight away to those areas. I'm not baking, so I'm just going to blend it out straight away. And then just lightly dusting a little bit over the other areas of, of the eye concealed as well. Eyes are a little puffy this morning because I went to bed a bit late. But that's okay. You can't always get the beauty sleep that we want and look amazing, you know? But we're gonna give it a good hard go. Next, I'm gonna set the rest of my foundation with um, just a big fluffy brush and my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, which I've broken and not got much left of, but it just looks like this. So I'm just gonna lightly dust this over the rest of my face, just to give my foundation a nice finish and I also have, although I have like dry skin, I have like combination skin so it's dry and oily at the same time which is very annoying but this will just soak up any shine. Now I'm going to warm up my face 
with, you guessed it, Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. So just popping this in the hollows of my cheeks and also under my chin. Just with the same fluffy brush. I'm going to come back and sharpen up the contour slightly in a second. And on my forehead as well, just really into my hairline so that it looks as natural as possible. Next I'm going to go in my eye sharp Laura Mercier contour brush just to really sharpen up and just define my cheekbones a bit more. So I'm just going to basically go over where I just went but just with Huda Bronzer again, but just like sharpening up that shadow. Next, I'm going to, as always, just carve out my cheekbones a bit more. So with the straight edge of my sponge, I'm just going to dip back into my powder. And then I'm just going to sharpen up the line underneath here. So it's slightly more defined. And that basically just acts as a little eraser, which is pretty handy. I'm going to let that sit for just a second. And I'm also going to do my brows with my Laura Mercier brow pencil in the shade Blonde and I'll be right back. So I'm just going to wipe away the powder and just make sure that there are no like really harsh lines. Now for the fun part, I get to do my eyes. Well not the really fun part, but the second dessert part. part. First of all, I'm going to prime my eyes with my Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC, which just looks like this. It's a really nice nude. Um, and it just covers up any blemishes underneath and underneath. On your eyelids, so I'm just going to use my finger to apply that because it's nice and delicate and soft. And I feel like the product lasts longer and goes further if you use your finger because it doesn't get stuck to the brush. Top tip. See? There's like still like brown and maybe a bit blue, but this one is completely like nude and just has a really nice finish. And it's not like the same colour as the rest of my face, which I really like because naturally eye lids are not the same shape, shade or colour as the rest of your face. So it still has that like natural vibe to it, which I really like. I prefer something with a bit of pigment up there. I also just feel like this texture is really good for applying eyeshadow straight after as well you don't need to like lay any powder down like if I was going to put concealer there I would then have to put some powder there as well and then your eyelid could start to get like super powdery with all the shadows as well so I like this primer more than concealer on my eyelids for those reasons so I'm going to keep this eye look really simple because I'm going to go for a bold lip today. So I'm going to just use a fluffy brush at least to begin with. I'm going to use my MAC 242 and I'm going to go in with my favourite shade which is Limit in the, oh, in the Urban Decay Naked 3 palettes. That's this shade here. Again I just think it's kind of um, the same colour actually as my primer which is nice but it's just a super light natural looking light pink which I think is just a really nice colour to use first of all on the eyelid. So I'm just going to apply this starting in the outer V like just making a bit of a V shape with my brush. Being super light handed um, basically directly onto the brow bone and then a little bit underneath further onto the lash line. Um, so just popping it here first of all and then when most of the products off my brush like right about now um, blending it in slightly. But I'm happy to be a bit like not too perfect with where I place this because it's a really light colour and it's just gonna look really nice and blown out and blurred anyway especially because I'm using this really big brush. So just slowly building the palette like this. And 
sleeping beauty is now awake. Baby. He's loving that song right now. <laughs> don't we all though, don't we all? I'm loving this eye look. I think it's super natural and super soft and blown out. Next, I'm going to go in with Nuna, which is this darker brown right here. I'm just going to use the same brush, but this is quite a dark colour, so I'm going to make sure that I get as much off. So tap in, tap off. And then keeping this one a little bit lower, and again, in the outer V, first of all. Just going to add a little bit of definition and just make it slightly darker. I'm focusing... Putting this one more in the crease to really give that definition and then blending it upwards as well. Next I'm just going to add some of this colour Strange which is this kind of vanilla -y white colour. I just want to keep this a matte look. I'm just going to brighten up the inner corner and like close to my lash line over here just to give like a subtle lightness to the eye over here. So just kind of applying this in a very wispy fashion. Ignore the microwave. In the background, that's my shadow element. Next, I'm going to swap to a Real Techniques smudge brush and just going to use Limit first of all, and then I'm going to go back to the darker shade, which was Nuna. Just apply both of these to the lower lash line. And then with the darker shade of brown, just keeping that on the outer half of the lower lash line. Next I'm going to go back in with my sponge and the translucent powder just to sharpen up slightly the eyeshadow edge. Just leaving that to sit for a second. And I'm going to keep this look a little bit more natural on the eyes so I'm not going to use any full lashes in the look today. We'll use some eyeliner though. I'm going to go in with my Benefit liquid liner. Um, this is just called Push Up Liner and it's kind of like, it's got a little pointy tip at the end so it's really easy to use. So you just twist the end here and your liner pops out. Wiping the powder away with any kind of clean brush. Next I'm going to go in with my mascara. The one I'm going to use is my Dior Iconic Overcurl. So I'm just going to apply this to the top and bottom lashes. I'm going to keep my face matte for this look but I'm just going to highlight underneath my brow bone. So I'm going to use my favourite MAC pigment in the shade Vanilla and then I'm just going to use this end of the brush that comes in the Urban Decay palette. Lightly putting a little bit um, right underneath my eyebrow. Don't want it to be too much with this really bold lip colour that I'm really excited to try out in a second. Finally, for the really exciting part, I'm going to try out my new Curly Journal Lip Kit, what colour did I get? Wicked, which is this super bright purple and I'm so excited to try it. I've been waiting for ages for this to arrive and it came with this little note as well from Kylie which is super cute. I love the packaging and I love the way it all looks and it's got her name um, over it as well which looks so nice. So excited! So first of all, Gonna use the um, lip liner that comes in the kit, and you literally have to lightly touch your lip, and the colour just comes out loads. Only thing with this one is that because it is so pigmented and such like a bright colour, you really have to make sure that you stay within the line. I naturally have like a wispier hand movement, and you definitely can't do that with this. So I'm definitely gonna need to clean that up in a second. Going in with a liquid lipstick, which I can't wait to do. Ooh. Oh, it smells like, I can't figure out what it smells like, but it's like sweet. I love the smell. Wow.
I mean. I love it. It dries really quickly as well, so. So there you have the finished look. I will say I love this lip kit. I love this colour. Only thing I would say is that because it is really pigmented, it's actually quite hard to apply it. And I took about 15 minutes. Applying it. So that's that. I do love the colour and I love the noise it makes when you get it out of the tube and I love the smell as well. It was worth the wait. So I hope you like the finished look. Basically all about the lips which I'm loving so everything else is kept pretty natural and pretty soft. It's a really easy look to do because it is so natural and so soft but yeah the lips did take me like 15 minutes because I had to put it on take it off, put it on, take it off, use concealer again, so that was a bit of a nightmare. But I do really like it and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and for now I'll see you in my next video! I haven't done anything else too dramatic because I really do think that would be too busy. Like busy makeup, you know?